In this video, we're finally testing something we've wanted to try for over a year. Can a parabolic antenna really boost the performance of a 5G outdoor router? It took us two months just to find a suitable used parabolic dish from eBay. With delays, tough logistics, and unpredictable weather, we're finally ready to see if this setup can truly make a difference. Stay tuned as we dive into the test and see how much performance we can squeeze out of the ZTEMC889A with a parabolic antenna. A parabolic antenna works by focusing radio waves from a specific direction into a focal point, boosting signal strength and stability. Unlike satellite dishes that gather signals from the sky, this antenna is designed for mobile communication and is inverted to focus on the horizon where base stations are located. This subtle difference is critical in mobile applications, ensuring the dish collects signals coming in horizontally rather than from above. The parabolic dish comes from Getic, and the floor stand is from Nidis. You'll find the links in the description. The antenna itself is optimized for frequencies between 900 megahertz and 2100 megahertz, and should, in theory, provide a gain of up to 24 decibels in isotropic. It originally came with a receiver attachment, but we're going to modify the mounting point so we can attach the ZTEMC889A router directly to the dish. We'll start by assembling the mounting points on the dish and attaching it to the stand. Now we mount the dish onto the stand. Next, we'll locate the dish's focal point and build a custom mounting plate for the router. We'll use the original mounting plate as a template to mark the spots for the screws.
At this point, I realized I'd made a small miscalculation. The first plate didn't place the router exactly at the focal point, so I had to make a second plate and adjust the position to get it right. Next, we'll attach the router to the new mounting plate. We're putting this antenna to a tough test, 5GSA mode, using N1 and N78 bands, with the base station over 6 kilometers away through forest. And remember, this antenna isn't optimized for the N78 band at 3500 MHz. First, we set up the modem without the antenna, to get reference results for comparison. We're now running tests in SA mode. The download speed is decent, even though the signal values aren't great. However, the upload performance suffers significantly due to the long distance to the base station. Next, we set up the modem on the parabolic antenna. The focal point is only estimated at this stage, not measured precisely.
The first test gives a nice 5 decibel milliwatt improvement in our SRP, and the speed boost is actually very good. We have to keep in mind that this antenna isn't even optimized for these frequencies. Next, let's tilt the antenna slightly upwards and see what happens. The signal values are almost the same. We get some improvement in download speed, but lose some in upload. This shows that due to the high directivity of the antenna, getting the right direction and tilt requires very precise adjustments. Let's tilt the antenna back down to almost the same angle where we started. And wow, we get almost a 10 decibel milliwatt improvement for N1 compared to the situation without the antenna. And the speed, almost 200 megabits per second, better than without the antenna. This result is far better than I expected, and we still haven't even measured the exact focal point. The optimal tilt seems to be around 20 degrees for this base station. In this test session, the parabolic antenna gave us nearly a 10 decibel milliwatt boost to N1 signal, and the download speed improved by almost 200 megabits per second. On N78, we also saw gains in signal and speed. The upload speed doubled, even though it remains modest because of the long distance to the base station and the high frequencies in use. These results show how critical precise alignment and tilt are with such a highly directive antenna. Overall, the performance boost was far better than I expected, and we still haven't even measured the exact focal point yet. Remember, this works best when your starting signal is very poor. If your signal is already decent, you won't see as big a gain. With some fine tuning coming up, I'm pretty positive we'll break 500 megabits per second. And how much does it cost to almost double your performance? less than $100. If you enjoyed this first video using a parabolic antenna, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss the next tests. We're going to dig into NSA mode, try other frequencies, and test out different devices too. Stay tuned and drop a comment if you have questions or ideas you want us to cover.